Is it possible to animate on Tupitoof just using the mouse? I will tell you how. Hi, this is Gustav, the developer of Tupitoof. Welcome to our channel. A few days ago, I found out that most of our users have to animate their projects using a mouse. No, not that kind of mouse, but this one. Understanding that the best way to animate on a computer is using a pen table, I have to admit that most of our users don't have access to or just can't afford one of these. But what is the difference between using a mouse or a pen table? Well, as you can imagine, using a pen table, the way to draw is a lot more natural than using a mouse. The strokes are soft as when you draw with a pencil on a paper. On the other hand, when you try to draw using the mouse, well, the result is inaccurate, very awkward. So, is there a way to create cool animations just using a mouse? Well, I think so. Let's start making a basic exercise. In this occasion, we are going to draw a little fox. This is the final result we want to achieve. Note, from this point, I'm going to work just with my mouse. Now, I have noticed that beginners try to illustrate using the pencil tool directly on the canvas, getting a clumsy outcome. Of course, at this point, you could use the notes tool to try to fix and enhance the strokes of your drawing. But following this procedure, surely you will have to deal with too many nodes. Then, what is my proposal to optimize the process? Well, we need to define our strategy. First, in case you want to use an image as reference for your drawing, you always will be able to import any JPG or PNG file from the library panel. Note, don't forget to include the image in an independent layer. So in that way, you can either disable or remove the picture easily anytime. Second, remember that we are illustrating to animate. As we are going to work on a character that probably we would want to bring to life, then it's a very good idea to split the character into pieces from the beginning. So, in our specific case, I'm going to cut the fox in three parts. The head, the body, and the tail. Note, depending on the complexity of the animation you want to create, you can split your character in more pieces. Third, to make the painting process easier, it's important to draw creating closed shapes. Independent lines can be open if you don't expect to use the fill color feature on them later. Fourth, use the group feature to join all the little parts that form a bigger element. In our case, the ears, the eyes, and the nose of the fox must be grouped with the head as one unique piece. Fifth, as final step of the process, we will delineate the border of our character, highlighting the parts we consider more important. Ok, we are ready to start drawing, but this time using the line tool. I know it seems a little strange, but trust me on this one. So. How to draw curved strokes using straight lines? This is the trick. We are going to draw continuous segments between all the points where there are vertices, corners or angles that make part of the component we want to draw. Pay attention to the way I do it with the head of the fox. At the beginning, you will notice that the drawing will look a little strange. But don't worry, it's just part of the process. Once I have created all the elements that form the head, it's time to pick the nodes tool to adjust all the straight lines. I know that this can be a demanding procedure, but remember, I'm trying to draw with a mouse, not with a pen table. Ok, it's time to draw the body of the fox following the same procedure.
And finally, let's draw the tail of the fox. Now I have all the elements required to animate our character. As you can notice, the final illustration looks great. Additional note, something that beginners used to do when they have to draw eyes is to fill the pupils of the character using the pencil tool and adding a huge amount of lines. Something like this. I want you to know that this is a bad idea. The right way to draw pupils is using the ellipse tool, picking the fill color you want to use for the eyes from the color palette. Why? Because it's simpler to create and simpler to edit anytime you need to. Ok, finally I'm going to create a basic animation using this character. All I'm planning to do is to animate the head of the fox. Nothing fancy. This is the final result. Do you like it? I hope so. And remember, it is possible to create cool animations just using the mouse. Ok, it's greetings time. On this occasion I want to say hi to Lenka Foxy, Rajani M, Jeff Baker and Abra Kadabra. Thank you for your comments. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching this stupid if. Please leave a comment saying hi and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is the best way to support our work. Merry Christmas and see you in the next video.